Good morning. For years, Crystal Viejas built a following online for her love of fitness and lifestyle advice. I'm super excited. Tonight, she's fighting for her life at a Texas hospital. In March, the Brownsville native traveled across the border to Matamoros, Mexico for a full body cosmetic procedure, hoping to save a few thousand dollars. She just told me that it was a better deal. Uh, my friend's uh, recommending it to me, and uh, so she decided to do that. Feeling concerned, she went to the hospital, but they sent her home, believing she was suffering from a bad case of migraines. Days later, Johnny came home to find his wife on the couch, unable to move and barely speaking. And as soon as I got close, I mean, I can feel the the heat. She was burning. She was burning hot and she can barely talk. And I remember she said, babe, I need to go to the hospital. Crystal had fungal meningitis, a rare life threatening infection that targets the brain and spinal cord. I never imagined the magnitude of what it could possibly be. It didn't cross our mind, you know, this, this, that these things could even happen to us. And she wasn't the only one. The CDC says fungal meningitis outbreaks tied to clinics in Matamoros specifically have killed at least four Americans so far this year. And nearly 200 people from the United States might have been exposed to the deadly infection at two clinics, Riverside Surgical Center and Clinica K3, during cosmetic procedures involving epidural anesthesia. Both Matamoros clinics have since been closed. Among those who had their lives cut short was one of Crystal's friends, Alma. Her family told Telemundo she went to Matamoros for a cosmetic procedure. She contracted fungal meningitis. She did not survive, leaving a young daughter behind. Mommy, I love you so much, and, and I want you to come here, but but not in heaven here, Mimi. Medical tourism is being is much more common. Um, the number one most visited country is Thailand, and the second most visited country is Mexico. Um, and as we've seen the prices for cosmetic procedures come down, we've actually seen more people traveling to other countries for them. When we're talking about price, how big of a factor is that for why people choose mm -hmm. to go abroad? So factor is huge. You know, initially when we thought about cosmetic surgery, it's mostly people who were from affluent backgrounds, but now it's more accessible to, to normal everyday people. So people are looking for procedures that they can just save up a few months for and get those procedures that only famous Hollywood folks get in the past. Now it's for Johnny. Tonight he says he's praying for his wife's recovery and trying to stay strong for their three young children. The one that's really, really feeling it is my little three-year-old. Obviously, it was always a mommy, mommy son duo. And, uh, you know, he'll, he'll, uh, he'll ask a lot about her. For people who are watching this, mm -hmm. if there's someone who maybe is thinking of doing something like this, what do you want them to know right now? It comes down to one thing. I mean, just love yourself, love, love the way you look. You know, I know that we live in a world where things are expected. You're supposed to look a certain way. And man, that's, it's not worth it. You know, seeing her the way she is right now, seeing her away from the kids, um, it's, it's, it's truly, um, it's not worth it, guys. Please do your research. Please do. Ellis and Barbara joins us now live in studio. First, how is Crystal doing tonight? So when we were speaking to her husband, Johnny, she had just gone in for a three-hour surgery. She should be getting out any minute now. When I asked him what is the prognosis, he said, you know, she's coherent right now. She's talking. But the truth is, we don't know if she will make it. She said right now, uh, he said right now, the doctor's biggest concerns are the potential for blood clots, that they're closely monitoring her brain because they're concerned that she could have an aneurysm. And this is quick, Crystal, because people may be watching the story ask, this. I know I did. Crystal's friend died. Why did she go to the same clinic? So they had gone actually on the same day. Ultimately, according to Johnny, Crystal's husband, Crystal went to the hospital first, found out she had fungal meningitis. He then called Alma and the other families they knew who had been there and said, hey, you should go to the doctor. Alma went after Crystal was already hospitalized, found out she had it, had an aneurysm, and then died. What's the advice? A lot of people want to get these cosmetic procedures. They cost a lot of money, so they go south of the border. What do the experts say? 
do your research. The CDC has an extensive warning about these clinics in Matamoros particularly and going to clinics in this area. Check the CDC first. See if there are any warnings. Talk to the doctor. Ask for their accreditation. Look at reviews online and don't be afraid to consider other options before you take a step like this. Tom, there's a bigger conversation about the cost of procedures in America. People are traveling abroad not just for cosmetic procedures, but also for cancer treatment, gallbladder surgeries, dental care. All of that plays into this multi-billion dollar industry that's so commonly known as medical tourism. Okay, Ellison Barber, we thank you for bringing us this story, an important one. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.